Hey guys, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. My name's Sean Elders and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're going to be talking about single stick and how to work inside of single stick, middle range and long range. Let's get started. This is an intermediate type of single stick. So he gives me a number one. When I come into this position here, okay, the first thing you're learning how to do is do what we call a basic pass. There are four sectors to start with. We have one, two, three, and four. We're gonna be working in the number four sector. When I get to this position, I'm going to pass this just like this and go and do an attack, okay? In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice as I go to sector four, I pass it and go to the number two, a, 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 a what we call a shallow two, which hits, cuts to the forearm. Now remember that the single stick also, it represents the single sword, okay? So when I go here, one, pass, and then I cut like this. Then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna come in and do a number one and he's gonna do a roof. That's the first part. So we're just, you're just gonna practice that. One, two, and three. Just like that, one, two, and three. So this is teaching you how to sector. This is teaching you how to pass that sector and create a new line of attack for yourself. So we go here and pass. One and two. One and two. And number one. So engage the attack. This is called crasada. And then we cut and go to the pass. We're crossing sticks or crossing swords. I'm gonna pass this, okay? So it, when it happens, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty quick. So I'm gonna go bop, bop, just like that. So one, two, see that's how quick it, it's gonna take place. You engage it and then cut. See that? One and two. So I'm stopping, I'm stopping the attack. My hand's coming inside the sector right here and passing it. Let's do it from this angle. So again, one and two. One and two. One and two. Okay. Then we're gonna do the next part of this. When I engage the attack, I'm gonna pass it like this. I'm gonna do a cut to the forearm. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna give him a number one. And when I give him the number one, he's gonna do a roof and lateral step back. Okay? We're gonna, then I'm gonna tick this back and we're gonna go one and two. Just like that, in largo, what we call largo mono range. Make sure you're in largo mono range. So when he comes back in, Okay, I'm going to feed him the number one. He's going to, going to engage it. Okay, he's going to pass it, cut the arm, and give me a number one. I'm going to lateral step back, one and two. I step in, he gives me a one, and I engage it just like this. My hand comes into sector four. I cut the forearm. He lateral steps back, one, two. He steps back in, and I feed him. Yep, and then when I do that, I'm going to come to this position. I'm going to roof and check, and then we're going to go one and two. So I go one, pass it. So notice how what I'm doing there. What's important is that when I when he comes he comes back he steps back lateral steps one and two. When he steps back in, he has he's trying to, he's having the tendency to try to pass that weapon, but not have anything behind it. Okay, so that's very important that you make sure that this weapon stays there. Okay, because if he lets this go and he's still trying to pass this and he's it's going to go right into his head okay so it's a very important part of this whole thing so when he gives me that number one one i pass it like this and then come in one and two when he comes back in now he's going to do it he's going to cut my arm i'm going to lateral step back okay the other part of this is the timing when i lateral step back from this okay we'll do it from this side when i lateral step with the roof I want to do those two things at the same time. You'll feel a natural rhythm, a natural feel with the footment placement and the engagement. Okay, we go one and two, one, two, I step back in like this. Boom. He's letting it go too early, so smack. He's going to get hit in the head. <laughs> okay, so again, when I engage this, he leaves that stick there, the weapon there, and he passes, cuts my arm, and then I have to step back. One and two. When I step back in, he gives me it. Notice I keep this weapon here, okay? I bring my hand into this sector and I pass it and cut the forearm. And then he lateral steps back, one and two. 
We want to make sure that it it relates. We want to make sure that it relates to what we're doing. Okay, and you have to remember that single stick represents a sword. Okay, also, and so you need to understand that the energy and the engagement that you're doing takes place. Okay, so when that comes in, I have to stay there because if I don't stay there and I try to go like this, it's going to come and get me. You see that? So one, pass it and cut the arm. He lateral steps back, one and two. Okay, now he does it, he engages it, but see, you gotta let, keep that there, you see? Pass it, cut the arm, and then I step back, one and two. See this? Boom. Boom, he does it. Bam, I lateral step back, one and two. Engage and cut, one and two. Engage and cut. Left. Roof. Engage and cut. See that? You have to make sure that you engage and cut. So that's the first part of this, okay? That's the first part of this. What I want you to do is I want you to just practice doing this over and over and over again. So for instance, we can start off doing Contra Sombrata, okay? Just like this, okay? And so what happens when we do this, I, when I get to this point, I can cut, they lateral step back, and then you can combine these two together. He comes in, he passes and cuts, and then we go back in, okay? So when I come to this position, instead of doing this, I'm gonna go, I'm going to, I can pass it like this, and then we can go into this position here, you see? So that's how you go back into it. Okay, so we have a basic, that's the basic three count, or you could do the basic five count. Let's do the five count. Okay, so inside this five count, okay, when I get to the, when he gets to the number one and he gets in the inside deflection, he passes it, cuts my arm, and I have to lateral step back. We go back into it. You see that? I come in, I pass it, and he goes back. Okay, when he comes here, instead of doing the pass again, this time he's going to push my arm down and then come in with a number two, and then we go back into the sombrata. Okay, so notice that time we did it with a shield. Okay. So what's, why is this important and why is this intermediate level? The reason why it's intermediate level is because you're in your beginning first levels, you're learning all the basics of the different aspects of Midramana range in Contra Sombrata. You're learning how to deflect and attack, deflect and attack deflect and attack. In a real combat situation, when he gives me that number one, I'm, I'm going here and I'm already cutting here. You see that? That's important I concept of that. No matter what angle of attack he does, doesn't matter. I'm coming in, I'm counter attacking it. The other aspect to it is if I'm early, I can cut the hand and then come straight in. Okay. So first level is just simply learning how to deflect and attack. The second level is when you start to learn how to redirect the hands engagement and create new lines of attack. So get started with this and I'll see you guys next time. We're gonna go over and we're gonna add in more aspects of this in the next video. Go to our website, pinnaclecombatarts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.